Radiant Red, issue number three out of five from Image Comics. So this series has been pretty terrible so far, and uh, it doesn't get much better. The art is still just terrible. The writing is terrible. The characters are terrible. <laughs> Everything is terrible. Uh, so yeah, we start off with this woman, question mark? who is uh, writing up a story. She works at the Lockport Voice. I'm guessing that's some kind of like newspaper website or whatever. And she's writing a story on uh, who Radiant Red is. How she got this information, who knows? I don't, I don't care. In fact, I don't think any of this makes any, this, any of this stuff really matters because in the current main run, Saitomi's identity isn't revealed, or at least there's no mention of it being revealed. So I'm assuming that at some point the story isn't going to happen, or if it does, then we're just going to ignore continuity. But either way, I don't care. I don't care about Saitomi. You haven't done anything to make me care about Saitomi. So yeah, with her being revealed, I, 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 I just don't care. And what is this face right here? <laughs> and this right here. Seriously. But yeah, we have this person. I, I guess Alicia Castle is the person's name, so I'm guessing this is a woman. I can't tell by this artwork. Uh, but then we have Saitomi with her fiancé at her family's house. And uh, yeah, they're just... Again, when it comes to the art, what is this right here? What is this expression? This is... Like, <laughs> like the, the mouth... You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of... Um, of South Park. It looks like something out of South Park. What am I thinking of? Is it the Harley Boys? Where they have their, their, their mouths just like pushed up like that? Oh, I got a raging clue. My clue's pointing over there right now. Like, w what is this? Is, is she like raging for a clue? Like, this is a, a really stupid expression. Speaking of stupid expressions, what the hell is this? <laughs> what is this expression? How does this get past the editors? Like... If I was the the editor and the artist dropped this on my lap, I would be pulling a John Jonah Jameson. I'll be laughing my ass off and just be like, are you serious? Is, is this what you expect me to, to publish? What are these expressions? What is this artwork? This is terrible. But yeah, uh, they have some like family talk, whatever. Um, the fiance is almost retarded enough to point out the fact that they're putting the house up for sale because they don't have money. So Saitomi has to basically tell him, shut the hell up. Don't tell my parents that we're having money issues. What the hell is wrong with you? And he's like, oh, I've, never mind. I made a mistake. We're, we're remodeling. And uh, she's just like contemplating. She, they're sitting in the car and I, I'm assuming she's contemplating like, why the hell am I still with this guy? Like, what is it about this dude that I want to stay with him? Is it the fact that he uh, that he's a retard? Is it the fact that he blew all of my money on gambling and now our life is in ru is in ruins because of him? Uh, what what is his saving grace? But yeah, so then we see Satomi and she shows up at the uh, the meeting with these uh, baddies and they 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 have a plan. They have a plan to steal the this toxic chemical that's super dangerous. Um, it can make a they're going to try to make a giant bomb out of this. And Saitomi just says, you know, uh, the client, like, what is this for? And they tell her, it's not your concern. And she's like, all right, fair enough. And I'm just like, are, are you serious? Are, are, are you, are you going to rob a place filled with chemicals that are super highly dangerous and toxic and uh, that this woman said that they, they can make bombs out of? And uh, you're just going to be fine with it. Why? Because they're going to say that they have your identity they don't have any proof of that they don't have any proof that you're radiant red i mean they know you're radiant red but they don't they don't have any proof that they can show so what you you're just gonna take their word for it like it's just it's just a stupid character making stupid decisions to keep this stupid plot going and then we have more stupid artwork like seriously what, what is this she looks like a freaking munchkin <laughs> like, she legit looks like she's like a, a little person right here and i know say tell me small but she's not a midget but that's what the artwork looks like like she does she even have any elbows why is her hand so big her 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 hand is bigger than her entire forearm 
<laughs> what the what the hell is this? But yeah, we got we got some more uh, stuff. I'm gonna skip all that. Um, but then we have uh, this guy who blackmailed Satomi, and he's gonna teach her how to control her powers because Satomi's part in this mission is that he's gonna help her break into the building. And then once she gets to the place where the chemical is stored, she's gonna use her powers to store the chemical in like some kind of black hole, or whatever. And then she's gonna take it out with her, and then she'll dump it out where it needs to be. So she's like, I, I've never done anything like that big before, uh, giggity. So he's like, all right, let, let's train you. And so we have like a little training montage. And then we have um, a situation where like they fall on top of each other. And it's supposed to be like romantic or something. She's like blushing and stuff. And I'm just kind of like, are you seriously trying to pull a potential romance between her and this villain? This guy who's blackmailing her and her family, who's threatening her family. You really think she's she's gonna like? Is this supposed to intrigue us in some way? Like, I mean, she immediately like you know pushes him off and stuff. But we have this moment where she's like kind of looking at him and blushing, and he's like, you know, you're a lot of fun. I like you. And then um, she kind of just like she doesn't push him away. She allows him to climb up, you know, off of her. And then he uh, she kind of just kicks at his leg and then screams. I care that they give this guy a different name. So before, I think they gave him the name Shears. Here, they give him the name Switch or something. So are we supposed to assume this is a different guy than the one in the Radiant Black main run? Because the outfit is exactly the same. So either this guy decided to change his name. Either the editors forgot what the name was. So they're like, oh, I guess it's, sw it's Switch. No, no, it's Shears. Or this guy gets beat and loses his suit and someone else takes control of his suit for one or two issues and then gets one-shotted by Radiant Black. But yeah, it's just, uh, it, it's dumb. What What's this panel for? Why are you trying to push like a potential romance between Sitomi and this guy? Yeah, her fiance is a complete dumbass and she, I don't understand why she's with them. But I highly doubt Sitomi, well, maybe she is. That's stupid enough to start potentially falling for the guy who's blackmailing her and her family and threatening to harm them. Um, yeah, I just I don't see that going anywhere. And then uh, we have a scene where she car calls Marshall for help and Marshall shows up and doesn't look like Marshall at all. Uh, I mean, look at this face. What This is supposed to be Marshall. This looks like a middle-aged Hispanic guy. <laughs> this doesn't look like Marshall whatsoever. But uh, yeah, Marshall is like totally cool with Satomi now. Even though he literally mentions that uh, he's like, oh, uh, you know, I mean, uh, she's like, has Radiant, you know, made your life any better? And he's like, in some ways, but I mean, I'm standing here talking to the person who put my best friend in a coma. So, you know. But he's like friendly with her and helping her out. And it's like, yeah, dude, this is literally the woman who put your best friend in a coma. The woman who in the main run, which is in the future from, from this, like this series takes place in the past. Um, and in, in this story, Nathan is still in a coma. But uh, yeah, this is a woman who you, you still are on the outs with, or at least you, you're not on friendly terms with. In fact, uh, the last few times we've seen you around her, you've tried to kill her or at least attack her and had to be stomped by Radiant Yellow. But now you're just showing up and you're totally cool, like meeting her and helping her out with her issues. Like none of this makes any sense. I, I don't know if the writer for this series has been keeping up with Radiant Black. I don't know if the editor is just falling asleep on the job. I would assume so if he's just letting all these plot holes and this terrible story and this terrible artwork pass. But yeah, th this series has no redeeming qualities whatsoever. I, I just, I don't like anything about it. The artwork is dumb. The story is dumb. The characters are dumb. The plot's dumb. The dialogue is dumb. There, there's nothing that's not dumb in this. It, it's a terrible miniseries. And... Uh, yeah, I, I don't see why it was ever made. I guess you're trying to cash in on the Radiant Red series. Um, I'm assuming the series is doing good, maybe. But still, uh, you could have done something way better than this. In fact, if you wanted a miniseries, I, I would have just had the miniseries be the different origin stories for the Radiant characters. 
Um, you could have picked a better character. Maybe Radiant Yellow. Then again, I don't want to see Radiant Yellow get a miniseries by this writer because he would probably screw that up as well. I know I'm like I'm being harsh, but this is just this is terrible. Like th there's nothing redeeming here whatsoever. I I can't recommend this even if you're a fan of the Radiant Black series. There's there's nothing good about this series whatsoever. It's just all around bad. And uh, yeah, there you go. Radiant Red issue number three out of five. It uh two thumbs down. Non recommendation. It, it's just it's laughably bad. I have no idea what they're trying to do with this. Uh, <laughs> but there you go. Anyways, I hope you enjoy the video. I would like to hear your thoughts. Does anyone out there actually enjoy this series? If so, why? There you go. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope to see you next time. Take care, everybody. Later. So what did you guys think of that video? I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys haven't already, please subscribe. Hit that bell for a notification. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And if you didn't enjoy the video, thank you for watching it this far. And I hope the next video is more to your liking. Feel free to check out the playlist that you guys see. And I hope to see you guys next time. Later.